Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So guys, it is way, way early. It is about 4 a.m. on a Saturday morning and I was itching, itching, itching to get back to um, our Tim Holtz journals. So that's what we're going to be doing today is getting back on track with that. Um, you know, I had the um, guest design team project that I did for Lorna over at Taylor Made Journals, and it was an Easter journal. So, if you guys didn't catch that, go on over and find those videos and check that out. So, <coughs> let's let's see. Tried. Hold on, just a second, guys. I think this is. Sorry about that, guys. Sneezing. I swear. Ugh. It's like constant all the time. Um. So I was over on um. Julie's channel at Camilla, Camilla Craft Designs and she made this little I think it's like a seven pocket flip out flip up thingy and yeah it went wrong 12 ways to Sunday let me tell you I don't know what happened um, so as you can see my things are upside down as you can also see this right here is supposed to come all the way to the edge and it does not but you know what we're going to use it anyway um, so this is actually going to flip up and we have a pocket here so we're going to put some stuff in there do have some ideas about covering up our upside down people um, this right here is going to be the closure and it's just going to tuck in like that and I did put a key there so we have that um, and then this opens up and we have three pockets in here so we got to find us some goodies to go in there we have a pocket here and then over on the back we have a flip up here pocket here and then a side pocket there so on all the pockets we're just going to find some goodies to go in there and go through this one and cover up what is upside down so the sideways stuff that's the way that the paper was made but I thought I had it right but it went like I said it went wrong 12 ways to Sunday so what I was thinking is here we could just put a piece of antique paper and that is from Rachel over at Roxy Creations so that's gonna look like that and then for this one up here this is just um, part of that digital could use this to cover that up and then simply put us a number five somewhere either off center it and we do have other little goodies um, over here of course that we can use so we will probably get into those so I'll set those there and then on see the back Again, I was thinking just a piece of antique book page, and then we could find something just to go in there. Yep, so that's what we're going to do there, guys, to cover up a lot of our upside down stuff. This looks upside down, but you guys know, like, that part's not upside down, so the way that the paper is made, it could really go either way. So I do think I'm going to distress around this. And I am using the uh, Ground Espresso ink for this. Forgot actually that I had that one. It's a little bit grungier than the other one I was using, so I think I like it a lot better. Let's get that grungy up more. I guess we can go ahead and go around this while we have it out, can't we? I was going to do it that way. Oh yeah, that makes a world of difference there. Yep, I do like that. I hope you're all doing well on this fine Saturday morning that I'm filming. I'm working later, but, you know, I was ready to get into this. I tell you, those five journal covers over there on my sewing table just waiting on me. So I'm thinking we will just do, you know, one journal at a time and see how it goes. I'll do that about there. Kind of straight-ish if we can. So let me try to get 
some of this stuffing's moved out of the way. Have a mess over here for sure. Alright, so let's get some glue on here. Get this pop down. Ooh. slightly crooked but hey you know if it wasn't crooked it wouldn't be done by me right and then this will do maybe there it has turned off cold again so like Thursday we had record breaking temperatures and now we're back to being pretty chilly. I got up this morning, crawled out of bed, and wanted to crawl back in as far as, you know, being chilly. A little chilly in here. I never did check to see what we had the um, heat on. Probably should have. Okay, so see, ta-da. That works there. Now, what was the other one we were going to do? The back. Let's see. So maybe just like that. Forgot to ink this one. Yep, nose is running. Allergies are still running rapid. My flowers are popping up outside. I bet they're so confused. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what season it is. Poor things. They are just all kind of confused, as as are we all. You have no idea whether to grab a pair of shorts and a t-shirt or a snowsuit. Alright, so that works there. I did put a little piece of Velcro here. It's just a little dots. I mean, it does hold it closed, but I'm not sure that I'm a fan of that never used the um, Velcro at all, I don't think. Um, so let's see. Okay. Now, we need to find a little something to go here, I think. Let's see what we have in here. We have some smaller stuff. Is Maybe something darker, a little bit darker, maybe like this. Yeah, and then we can just dress around it. Yeah, I drove myself absolutely Looney Tune trying to get this thing to work out right. Finally, I just said, okay, it's not going to work out right. So we will just go with what it is. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's look over here. I'm okay with that at the top. Let's put maybe something on here. Something red. Yeah, that really stands out. I like that. Go ahead and just dress around it and just pop it right there. I have another one over here. Everything cut except for the little pockets, but maybe we will get to that one. Have time to do something with it. Oh, yeah, cute. All right. So I'm thinking now on this one, all we need to do is just pick some stuff to go in our pockets. And this one will actually be done. So let's see what we may have over here. That is going to fit. A bingo card. out some of this bigger stuff at the bottom. 
So let's see. That'll go in here. I wonder if that will. Go kind of like that ticket. Oh yeah, I love this. That looks so good. Grungy that up a little bit on each side. Okay, so good with that. We have this pocket. Let's see. It can handle something a bit wider. actually handle something wider than that. Let's see what we have on down in here. Uh, that would maybe too wide or it's not too wide it's just too too thin to actually get down in there real good. What do we have? I know I had some wider stuff. So I did try to put it toward the back. Oh yeah, that'll go. Okay, so you can live in that pocket. soon as you get some grungy. Let's see. Come on now, you just went down in there. Okay, there we go. Alright, so in here... Let's see, where's that side pocket thingy at? In the back. Okay, too wide. Um, let's see, how about that? Yep, that'll go. We'll just distress around that one. I mean, this is the easy part, guys. You know, it's just picking out pre-made things that will actually work. Cool. Okay. Now, let's see. I think so this maybe. Let's see if this will go. Oh, yeah, that'll go. Okay. So we'll put this one in there. Some grunginess on there. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't get the... I guess I kept... I mean, I called myself doing it the way she was doing it, but I just... Here we go. Kept. Um, okay, so we have three more pockets to fill. So let's see if this is too tall. Ah, it's close. It's not sticking out, so there you go. I wonder if it's skinny enough to go over here. Yeah, let's use that one over there. Is he skinny enough? Unlike me. He's skinny enough to fit. Alright, let's see where we time was. Okay, well... Let's see. 
that can take something a bit wider. Let's see what we may have that's a bit wider. That one will go. May put a little something on there too. Since that's just more plain. Okay, Mr. Horsey's gonna live in here. Okay, cool. Now we have this one. So maybe these uh, hair cutting chart can live in there. Or maybe we'll put two tall ones on the side and put them in the middle. Yep, I like that better. This distressed around and it looks like this one. Oh, uh, we're going to put something on there. And then it looks like this one will be done. Let's collect up this stuff. Let's get back in there somewhere. Scooch it down in there. Let's see what it looks like. Always makes a difference to me when you distress it. Yep, I kind of like that. I want something else, though. What about this ticket? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Oh, is it a sticker? Well, still want to distress around it, whether it is or not. Okay. So let's get this popped in. found out yep tit is a sticker oh cool all right guys so I think this one is done and this is a video a little on the shorter side but I think we're gonna call this one done and then when we come back we can work on the other one. Put that through there. And that's our closure. So I'll probably just leave all of this out. And then when I get home today from work, we can go ahead and continue on with this one. We still have to cut down the pockets. Um, so there's our pocket. Let's see. This is going to be our front. No. This is going to be our front. And then opens up. There's a pocket there. We'll put pockets in there. And then this will be our back. We'll have that pocket there. And there'll be a pocket there. Yeah. So. Thank you, Julie, for the idea. Got our key ready. So, this is it. One more thing for our journals. Alright guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your support. I love you guys and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.